Welcome to Italy and the Autodromo Vallelonga. We are in the middle of July and it is hot, unbearably hot. Temperature outside reach around 40 degrees and the team is in for an extreme weekend. The name of the game this weekend is heat. It's hot. It's gonna, we're going to see it topping 35, 36 degrees today. So in car temperature, for these guys is going to be pushing 60 degrees C. That's 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's going to be uh, very toasty indeed. The BOP weight that the stakeholders of WTCR have imposed on the car means that in certain conditions, it exceeds what the tires can handle. The Lincoln Co car is this weekend a total of 80 kilos heavier than, for example, the Hyundai. The extreme imposed weight of the car in combination with this weekend's heat and track layout means that the pressure on the tires is so hard that they can collapse, leaving the driver without any means to control the car. Oh! Now that looks like it could be a big one. That's not just wide, that's off. That's completely off the road. And is it Muller? Oh my goodness, it's Ivan Muller. Oh, now oh. that is going straight for the wall. We're going to watch the onboard one. This will be the clearest picture. And he just suddenly loses it. It's in that dip. The way he went straight off, it's almost as though he had a front left puncher to go straight on, because then you're out of control. But... Yeah, he just, he just bottomed out mid-apex, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. No. Because no. the gravel is huge. Yeah. Uh, but at the moment of my turn, uh, the tire blow, and I thought I will go to Rome. Yeah, but yeah. the gravel trap worked very well. All right. Tire puncher in turn two, and turn two is the faster uh, uh, corner of the circuit. It's exactly the corner where you don't want to go out. I was looking for a signal, but I didn't add any, any signal. Uh, when we had the problem in Nürburgring, we had some delamination and then the explosion. Uh, but here it was, yeah, instant. But this is again, this is the kind of thing that's going to eat at Ivan Muller's mind. It's like, I had that moment at Villarreal, I've had this moment now. He's got to go and do some rebuilding here, because once you get one or two of these incidents coming in, it becomes a pattern, and you don't want it to become a pattern. Tyrod, right, that, that is... Look at that, that's a bulge of gargantuan proportions. No wonder the whole team is struggling, because that, that isn't from Muller's car, that's from one of the other cars. I've never seen anything like that. Despite the massive tyre problems, the team still managed to pull off a great qualification run. Okay. What a mess, what a mess. All Cyan Racing front row for race two. That's unbelievable. <laughs> That's incredible. So Jan Elache and Santi Ruscio are going to be on the front row of the starting grid for race two tomorrow. That's unbelievable. Immense. Not a single Lincoln Co. gets through to Q3. That's rare. That's, the that's probably the first time in a long time. Four it? years, maybe? It's evident that the tyre problems now is a major safety issue. Despite raising the team's concerns, the WTCR stakeholders were reluctant to make any changes and decided to go on as planned. This forced the team to make a very tough last minute decision. Well, that sounds to me like Lincoln Co are gonna pull out of this race. Indeed they are. The Lincoln Co boys are coming in, so they're gonna retire from the race. So that means that there will be no points for Lincoln Co. Uh, going into the race day, we, we informed uh, VTCR stakeholders that we didn't know how we were going to survive a, a race run in a safe way. And it, unfortunately, it ended up with us taking the decision not to start. And I mean, to take that decision was probably one of the toughest decisions uh, we have ever done. We, we felt forced to do it, so we didn't really see any other outcome. Look, that's a problem for Benani. Benani. Benani is slowing. Now, that looked like debris coming off that his car as well. coming from somewhere. Oh my goodness. Something's rattling like it's a, a fender or an inner wheel arch. Oh, and sure. Thiago Montero's got a puncture. Thiago Montero has a left front puncture. So let's see what happened. Oh, oh he's lost it. Almost a carbon copy of what Ivan Muller did in free practice one. But don't he's... risk it. Don't risk it. Oh, oh. And off the road goes Berton. Berton goes straight on. Oh my goodness. This is what we were talking about. It could be any one of them. And Punch guess what? Up. Left front puncture oh, again, damn. it's that same tyre that goes on every car. A short race. We just uh, came out uh, of the track after the, the warming lap. Um, yeah, team, team decision, we have to accept it. When, when we see what it happened during the race, it looks like it was a good call. Your personal feelings? I will keep 
my personal feeling. I'm just a driver. It's not on my control. I think people have to, uh, to do the good meeting, find the solution all together, because we are all sitting in the same tree. We uh, all look for the same things. So I think uh, people have to be clever now. A fabulous battle incoming then for the second race of the FIA World Touring Car Cup here at Vallelunga. And what a battle it is going to be after the earlier race today. Now we are ready for even more drama to unfold with the likely absence of the Lincoln Co's from the race, despite the fact they lock out the front row of the grid with Jan Elashe and Santi Arusha. We saw a lot of tyre failures in uh, race one. We didn't know if they were going to change anything. We were sort of hoping that they need to realise something is wrong so that he would change something for race two. Uh, they decided to, to keep on doing it the same way and I mean we didn't see any, any way to, that we could do race two either even if we were starting in great positions. So unfortunately we decided to, to stop there as well. What a weekend, double DNS. We wanted to race, we are here to race, we do all the effort uh, to develop the car. Uh, to develop as a team, we all wanted to race drivers. We, we wanted to, to pop a race, you know, it's, it's somewhere there you are here, you want to compete, especially starting from ball, you know. The next race is my home event, I will drive my earth out to, yeah, to perform. The only positive thing I can take with me from this weekend is I have never worked with more professional people. I mean, to see them work so hard, both drivers coming here, having done all the preparations, giving the mechanics to force them more or less to work in the heat we have seen here with almost 40 degrees and just push on, push on, and then to tell them that we have decided that we're not going to race. And everyone got emotional, but said, okay, if that's what you decide, then I'm thinking it's the best for the project. And I mean, to be that professional and to knowing that you have drivers starting on front row and they still just accept it, that's incredible for me to have those sort of people working for you. I mean, that's just something I will always remember and always take with me. So that is the positive thing I can take with me from this weekend, but I got a little bit of a tan, so maybe that is positive, but no, not much more, unfortunately. The race of Italy was far from what the team wanted. Next race weekend is in France. Will the WTCR stakeholders make any changes for the sake of everyone's safety? One thing is for sure, though. The Lincoln Co. Racing Team want to race.